Welcome to Rodas Underground Trio. Once again, we dive deep into the world of underground music, and uh, this time we have quite a different uh, combination of um, albums. I'll first show you them in alphabetical order, and then we'll go through them in the order I found verse to west, according to my own opinion. First from Finland, De De Cimitieras. This is not exactly metal. Saketa Esoterisesta Europasta. Martial Industrial or Related. Then we have Draft Rabbit Kinetic, a uh, new metal from Russia. And then Infermum, uh, a Finnish uh, Gothic Death Doom Band from the Depths and something. Well, let's get it on with it. And uh, where's the best? Draft Rabbit, this is uh, from 2021, so don't have to worry about anything related to nowadays shitty events related to world politics, geopolitics, what do you have? Let's not go into that topic. Should have this been uh, out of these days. I don't know, honestly, if I would be willing to even cover this band. Anyway, Draft uh, Rabbit uh, isn't even found on metal archives, not metal enough, it seems. True Grim Distribution, this one was released in 2021. And what I could find out is that this is their first album. And to be honest, it kind of shows. It's kind of weird that when we're talking about the production, it sounds very much today, it's kind of solid and all that stuff. But let's be honest about it. When we're talking about the music here, uh, this is almost like uh, 1990s never left the building or early what, 2000s, pr probably 1990s. You know, think about the corns and the like, what he had back in the days. You had jumping around with, your cap put sideways and all, and yeah. So you have jumping kind of a music. You have those um, almost like a metal ish parts there, kind of a breakdown, kind of a thing, but not exactly gent. And then you have variety of vocals, which are like showcasing what we can do. So much bad attitude, so much repetition with given the words. For a while, it seems like this is going somewhere, but eventually you really feel like you don't need a Russian version of Pete Corn or Limp Bizkit or whatever. Uh, if you're a new metal fan, you probably want to check it out, but as a result, very, very mediocre uh, songwriting with somewhat of a good production and some good vocals. But to me, this really didn't move me one way or another. Probably after a few more spins and I would have started to hate it. Now I just go away with neutral ways. The uh, Cimitiris is a fierce old Finnish artist, Jesse uh, Ryhanen, one man project. And this is technically speaking something that you could box in with Death Industrial and Martial Industrial. Throw a little bit Dungeons synth into the game, you have roughly idea what's going on. A nicely looking uh, Digipack by Stein Klang uh, label. I think at least this was officially released by them. And uh, quite nicely looking CD, nice glossy digibag, so worth your money. Um, what is this? What makes this interesting is that first of all, this is the first uh, Finnish, fully Finnish uh, release by the art artist itself. The previous ones have Latin names and what have you. This is purely Finnish, and it, all the spoken parts are Finnish. And when we're talking about the spoken parts, they, those are the vocals you have here. So while listening to it. You might get a little bit of feeling like this is a sweet uh, Finnish version of poisons and the like, meaning there are lots of uh, like manifestation, uh, manifestations, manifests like no, it's going to be this and that. It's the law of the greatest power on earth, kind of a things. Uh, I mean, it's kind of nice to have that kind of a powerful rather than going apologetic. So either go full in or go home. And on the background, you will find more music, like some are more Dungeon Synth-like, some are more soundtrack-like, some are more bombastic, some are more soothing, very, very atmospheric, very much like a soundtrack with those spoken parts. Now, I'm not exactly a big fan of uh, spoken words with this given genre. Uh, I'm here to say this is going to divide people into two camps. Some who really, really like that they are listening to those spoken word parts, much like Pussons. And then there are people who are more like, put those vocals a little bit down or just have a little bit less them or go more instrumental. This is not instrumental at all. O obviously, you can focus on that, but the spoken words are more or less on dominating on this one. 
So depending on which camp you kind of uh, take part of, uh, that kind of defines how much you're going to like it. For me, it's kind of a nice, but like I said, to be honest, a little bit less would have done the trick better for me. But overall, um, this kind of shows that uh, Yese is a good composer and has a lot of skill and understanding of the given genres. And I'm saying genres as uh, like a plural because this is not just, you know, uh, the martial industry or what Poisons is doing. This is more soothing, not maybe show martial, but giving me a little bit of this auto equilibrio uh, vibes here and there, but without the female part, uh, female vocals. And for example, they're like a little bit acoustic kitters and the like. So there's a variety of things happening. And as such, it shows that this is not just one song after another. And then you just copy paste with different vocals and all that stuff. That being said, if you're a fan of dead industrial and uh, martial industry and you don't mind the background dancing synth related stuff, go to check this one out. It's pretty cool. And then probably my favorite. This is pretty much uh, on par with the previous one. Uh, what we have here um, from the deaths and I cannot read. Well, that's what you have with the given fonts and all. Now, this is Infirmum's uh, self-finance release, which I find rather interesting because the music is the kind of a quality you would imagine that finding a label would be relatively easy. Uh, if you get a little bit of a gothic feeling because of certain clothing and all, I mean, it's very much there. This is definitely going into the gothic waves of death and doom. Death metal comes more kind of obvious when you're adding more, say, growl vocals and certain really heavy guitar riffs and all that stuff. But in general, you could just talk about Dead Doom. It's almost like a Finnish version of, you know, think of the My Dying Brides and the what whatnot, but with less clean vocals and more growliness and more female vocals. And then a lot of black metal uh, screams, which I find kind of a fascinating. I'm not sure if they really fit this whole thing that much because now it's like almost like a too much of variety, like a buffet table. You're like, oh, kind of a little bit of curly, a little bit of shrieky, a little bit of clean vocals, a little bit this and that. Don't look at me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that if you can handle your vocals and this band has, can have, and they have a variety of musicians skilled all and all that stuff. So it kind of works but it's really on the verge when too much is just too much. Um, that being said, however, the production is cool and the songs really capture the atmosphere and the mood, what you're expecting from a dude, doom death metal band with this gothic stuff. Then again, this album uh, lasting for almost 53 minutes seems like a little bit of a stretch. That being said, sometimes it feels like it's overextending its stay, meaning some of the songs might be a little bit better if they were a little bit more compact. But this is a matter of taste, and of course, Doom Death is known for lengthier songwriting parts, and it's all about the atmosphere, rather catchy riffs or memorable chorus parts and all. And to be honest, I'm very, very picky when it comes to Doom Death. It's, it's not my... Uh, Doom Death has never been my favorite genre. I mean, I do like certain, say, old Paradise Lost, old Anathema, My Dying Bride and the like, but when it goes beyond that, I am really, really picky what I like, because in general... Slow tempo music, when we're talking about metal especially, isn't really my cup of tea. But I gotta say, I like how this band is able to put all these ingredients to, uh, together. So, given that this is the second album by the band, sounding good with good production and good vocals and all that stuff, I could imagine this could be a relatively big one in the given uh, genre. I just hope they find a proper label to really give them the push they need in terms of, you know, setting live and setting distribution and all that stuff. If you are into doom and death metal, there's no reason why not to check this one out. So, Infirmum, give it a go. Uh, this is from Underground Trio. Obviously, links are provided in the description box for you to find out the links to the band's pages and music and all. So, go to check out which ones you find fascinating. If you don't find any of them fascinating, too bad. Until the next episode, see you. Bye-bye.